Question 15. You can use this graph to change pounds and dollars. So we've got pounds on the bottom of the graph. We've got dollars going up the side. Part A, change 20 pounds into dollars. All right. If we're using a line graph, you've got to make sure that you've got a pencil and a ruler to hand to make sure we get the most accurate answer possible. So 20 pounds, well this is pounds, so 20 pounds is this value here. Now using a pencil and ruler is generally a good idea to draw onto your graph a line that goes up from 20 until it touches the line. So that's where 20 pounds is, so to use this as a conversion you then go across and see where that lies on the y-axis, in this case dollars, so our answer is going to be here $32. Now part B says in London Sano headphones cost £60. In New York Sano headphones cost $100. Sano headphones cost more in New York than in London. How much more? So we're going to have to go for a conversion here. We're trying to think you know, can we compare the two at the moment? Well, no, they're in different units. So if we put both into either pounds or both into dollars, then we can compare them. Well, the part A has given us a hint. Change 20 pounds into dollars. So if 20 pounds is 32 dollars, and we want 60 pounds, so let's see, 20 pounds, we worked out to be 32 dollars. So £40, I'm going to make sure I actually do write down the units, otherwise I might get confused as to what I'm working out. It's going to be double that. So if I've doubled the pounds, double 32 means I've got $64. £60 then. It's going to be three times this. So three times 32 is 96 US dollars. Now that's part of the question because we've now got two values of the headphones in different countries but both put into US dollars. The question says how much more? Well the big hint here says it costs more in New York so we should have a bigger number which we do. So what's the difference here? We've got a hundred pound, hundred dollars sorry hundred dollars and we're taking away what we think the answer is which is ninety six dollars and that gives us a four dollar difference and that would be the answer we have to make sure we include the units because if we'd convert it into pounds here then the answer would obviously not be four